Well, this is a good way to start off the Let's Play. God damn it, Toby. What did what did the kids do to you? Poor Toby. <laughs> you guys could hear that crying. I'm not sure if the crying could be picked up for the microphone, but uh, just in case, um, that crying, if you guys could hear it, is the baby. Anyway, so um, welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Let's Play, and today we are continuing on with the... Actually, huh. We already played Terra and Ventus' store for a while. I feel like we're missing one character. March 23rd. Jesus, was it really that long? Holy shit. Wait a minute. Oh, April 3rd. Okay, so that was. This is the last recording session. So, this is the one that has um, the character select screen. Alright, well, if that's the case. Considering we've been playing as Aqua and. Sorry, as um, Ventus and. Um, Terra for a while now. I feel like it's more appropriate to um, play as Aqua this time because she's the only character that we have yet to play. And considering how we've been pretty much through a lot of the worlds with Terra, both Terra and uh, Ventus, I think it's appropriate and okay for me to play as Aqua story this time so that I could not only that but to um, readjust and familiarize myself of what's going on in the Kingdom Hearts uh, Birth by Sleep story. So yeah, that is a, a good a good suggestion, I'd say. <clears throat> Alright then. Of course it's gonna get really annoying every time I have to like just pause, skip scene of a scene that I already know that's going to happen and all that good shit. I guess I could uh I guess I could um review them, but eh. Okay. And again, even though everyone keeps on saying I should absolutely play Aqua last, in this game you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character visits different places and meets different people, and only by fishing all three stories you will uncover the tales of deeper truths. It says nothing about who to go first and who to go last whatsoever, and if it's not in the game, then therefore I will continue on further. It's not even giving me a warning section saying, oh, this is Aqua, she used to be going to be the last story. No, it says, play as Aqua, yes or no. So, uh, that's the game's fault for not detailing who's first and who's second and who's last or whatever. And furthermore, there are some episodes where Ventus is the first character, and even some more episodes where Aqua is the first character, so I have no idea why you guys keep saying, oh, play Aqua last. I'm sorry if I'm ranting all along long enough, though, it's just that... This is really confusing every time, like, everyone keeps having, like, different says on what to do or whatever. And not, not only that, though, but it's not like I listen anyways. You guys should know me by now. I've been Let's Playing for, like, four, about four years now, I think. And you guys should know that I will always never listen to anyone, no matter what they have input, as, as unless it's some sort of, like, framing work, if it's some sort of, um, video editing thing that I could do to make this video better. When it comes to playstyle, uh-uh, I don't give a shit. Uh, was a uh, square is block. Got it. Oh, that looks like that's more reflective. Anything? Uh, and I think the camera or the camera's inverted, so I'm gonna have to fix that later on. I'm gonna try to. This is a new character, so I'm probably gonna have to get used to her magic abilities and stuff. Uh, damn it! Really, you have to miss. Thunder misses. Is that all of them? That seems like it's all of them. Not, never mind, there's no more of them. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is also a bad thing when it comes to um, trying to replay through some of the story mode, is that you're kind of experiencing through it the same thing. Even if you're playing it through different play styles, it still doesn't excuse that you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. But again, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it could get pretty boring, I'd say. Alright. Get over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, you're a quick little fucker, aren't you? Oh, that misses. Maximum HP and learn Spell Weaver. I know Aqua apparently is a lot more magic based, so I should probably be um, get used to using those more often then, huh? Uh, Firestorm and Fever Pitch. We already know about those things. I guess that's also another annoying thing is that you're gonna have to revisit through these tutorial sections again. That. All right. Is there anything that's Aqua specific in terms of the cutscene, or is it, is it all repeats from the previous stories? This looks like it's different. And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, 
you must always be conscious of. What is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Oh, that's weird. Wait, isn't this the part where like he uh, describes uh, yes. nobodies or whatever it's called? I understand. The unverse and um. Farewell. All their shenanigans and whatever, and setting off the, these two for their missions. That was my dear old friend. Yeah, and... I think we already see this episode, this uh, section already. So let's just skip that. Hopefully, there's not like anything extra, but I don't know. <laughs> if there is, then that's my fault, and we already saw that cutscene as well. Forged at leading with Ventus. We didn't do one for Terra. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, D-Links and- oh, never mind, there it is. There's one for Terra! Alright, should I challenge myself? Or is there only one linear pathway here? Unlock, da da da. Alright. So, we're gonna pick it off from the last time we saw. Uh... Yeah, this is the only option right now, isn't it? I don't think I could go anywhere else. So we're kind of forced to go. Which I guess in the storyline, once again, this makes absolutely no sense, but. Oops. Because this is where Aqua goes here last, correct? Because it's all it's Ventus and then Terra and then Aqua. But Ventus goes to the Sleeping Beauty Land first. But if Aqua goes here here first, then uh oh, story is weird. Is there like multiple different Aquas and Ventuses and Terra's just flowing around? Oh shit, I should change the settings. I keep forgetting. I guess we're gonna finally finish off the trilogy of Cinderella's Land. That's. Mademoiselle! I am recording this, right? Hold on a minute. The microphone's blinking, so I should be recording this. Okay, good. I'm just, I'm just doing a real quick panic test, uh, panic test real quickly, just in case I didn't fuck up or anything. Uh, senorita, uh, wait! Hmm? Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? How does time no. work in the Kingdom Hearts universe anyways? I'm Actually, trying to remember what Ven's uh... Just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Xehanort? No. But it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts? Filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. <coughs> Sorry, I have right. a little bit of cough right now. I don't know why. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Try with the chocolate I ate this okay. morning. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. I kind of have a little bit of knowledge of Cinderella this time. You still have the same dream? Well, and by a little bit of yes. knowledge, I mean I just watched the Nostalgia Critics old versus new episode of Cinderella. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. He'll be all right. He won't give in to it. God, I really, really... I wish I could record this in 1080p because, I don't know, I guess I don't mind about the graphics, of course, though, but it kind of does bother me how the anti-aliasing in her hair is, like, really, really bad. Uh, but again, if, if only this was on the fucking Xbox 360, that way I won't have a big deal with it. I could easily record 1080p there, but no. This has to be a PlayStation exclusive. And also, I don't get why it's a PlayStation exclusive to begin with anyways, I mean... If Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to the Xbox One, then why can't they port, like, the first two games on the Xbox 360? 
Does Sony have some sort of licensing issue with Kingdom Hearts or something and say that the first, like, couple of games has to be on the PS3 or some shit? Uh, I'm going the right way, right? Oh, I missed my double jump. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, no, that's Kingdom Hearts 3 2. Never mind. I actually been, been recently playing some Kingdom Hearts 2 lately. Um, I did fight against a Z Z Z Z Fuck, what's his name? I was about to call him Xenohort. The, the long, gray-haired guy from Final Fantasy VII, what the fuck was his name again? Sephiroth? I fought against him. He was a pretty damn, like, hard-ass to deal with. Well, are we gonna start with the boss battle already in her story? Who are those ladies? Oh, Does it matter who are those if ladies? If I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh. What? My apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Did you mistaken him Your her for highness, Cinderella? I found this in the palace. Nothing stairs. alike. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, <laughs> just from that one the meeting, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And just from that one meeting, it's and like, oh, it's meant to be fate. I'm gonna marry her. Have you ever seen Frozen? <laughs> as much as I hate that movie, I will admit, like the immoral of don't marry the first person you see immediately is kind of a good moral because, like, you can't judge a book by its cover immediately. God. What the fuck, Cinderella? You're actually making me compliment Frozen. Uh, wait, is this... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's good. That's a good camera. Okay, so I guess, uh, this is not where I go. I'm supposed to find Cinderella? Eh, yeah, there's no, uh, heartlesses so far. So... Yeah, I think I'm fine for now. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go! Time to fight! Yeah! Quick Blitz is a physical attacker, although she mostly uses magic and thunder didn't really do much. Come on! Freeze! Alright, at least that kills. I can't combo my Quick Blitz immediately after I'm done with the combo, so that's unfortunate. Alright. There we go. I have to be really near the Martinez of Thunder. That wasn't like that in the previous Kingdom Hearts game, was it? Oh, get away! Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, I guess from her playstyle so far, she kind of is a. Uh, I feel like, like, I honestly thought that she's gonna be originally like more agile than. Oh shit! Hello. More agile than both Ventus and especially um Terra. Well, I don't know. She seems like a slow Pokemon so far. I feel like she might be more of a Kikwe character, but considering how her thunder needs to be close range, it seems like the only Kikwe um, that she can really do well is um, her Blizzard. I should really check if whether or not um, I have more abilities than that. It does seem like her... Um, oh, ooh, ow. It does seem like her um, magic abilities are way better than um, her physical attack, so... Oh! Hello! I got Skull Weaver. Oh, that's a... That's definitely a different, um, command ability compared to all the other ones, so I want to know how that works. Alright, I got a potion. That's not really that much, but eh, whatever. What does, uh, Weaver do? It looks like I can fly, but, um, she does seem a lot more like a range attacker, especially with her way, like, she throws her key blade when she becomes... A spell weaver. And her attacks, her magic spells are a lot better too. Whoa! Alright. So yeah, she's just used more of her spells and commands, and yeah. That seems to be mostly her playstyle so far. Because for now, uh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like her, honestly. Huh. Well, I'll have to play her a little bit more, but... Like, I'm a, oh, oh, I'm always the kind of guy that will be more like a brooding, attacking kind of guy. But I feel like Ventus is definitely the strong balance between the two. 
Because mu as much as I actually do think magic abilities are perfectly fine for this type of game, I think focusing on it too much might just, I don't know, ruin a little bit ruin the experience for me because... At first and foremost, I always think of Kingdom Hearts as more of a hack and slash game more than a RPG game, honestly. I know the RPG elements are very prevalent in Kingdom Hearts games, but I honestly like it a lot more when it's hack and slash game. And this character by far is definitely the very least hack and slash out of all the other characters. Like, as much as I don't like Terra Lotus- OH GOD NO, NOT YOU! WHY?! Why have to be you of all things? Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Spells. I think I could easily deal with them with spells. It does feel like you very much have to wait patiently! Okay. You have to deal with the enemies a lot more patiently. At least, bad guys. I don't know, it might be just the bad guys though, but... I feel like her ability is all about patience and virtue. Rather than going all in and... Go attacking and all that shit. Right, I need to um, see what um, spells I'm equipping right now. See what's up. Uh, awesome! I got Spell Weaver! Alright, that's dead. Uh, did I kill everyone else? Oh, I think I did. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to use the timer thing. God damn it. Uh, that's fine. I'll just do that real quickly. I'm on. Fuck. Okay, I'll do that once I'm done dealing with these enemies. Shit. I'm not sure if the spell abilities pierce through, um. Pierce through, uh. Whatchamacallit? Pierces through, uh. Shield attacks? I gotta say, though, I'm not really playing much defensively with her at all. Freeze! Then again, at the same time, I don't feel like I really need to play defensively. I mean, she's already a pretty defensive character, so just blocking or moving around. In fact, I think she has like the weakest uh, dodge roll out of everyone else. Like, even Terra has a pretty damn good dodge roll, despite his uh, muscular, muscular attack power. I don't know, I could be all wrong, and correct me if I'm wrong in case, um, in case you guys really want me to... Um, know what the difference is, but... And that's the thing, like, I don't mind if you guys give me knowledge on certain attack attributes and all that. I think that's fine. It's just that don't tell me exactly what to do in terms of, like, play style and shit, because if you do that, it's just gonna irritate me, because, oh, I'm totally not gonna do that, because it just feels like I'm not playing the game on my own. I'm playing whatever everyone else wants me to play, and that's not my style at all. Alright. Freeze! So yeah, I don't really relatively like that at all. Um, I think that's all the enemies here. Uh, can I go through there? I think I can, but I don't think I'm supposed to do go through there. Oh shit, right. Magic and stuff! Let me check that real quickly. Command X, blah blah blah. Alright. I can only have three at, at the moment, it seems like. I got... potions. Barrier Surge, what is that? Plug herself in a barrier and rush the enemy. That's pretty defensive. I guess I'll take it, but... I don't know. It feels like... I'm right pretty going defensively already, so just more defensive attributes. I think, if anything, she's probably more like a tank. <laughs> Which is kind of ironic. She's more of a tank than fucking Terror is, who I imagine would be a tank. I could be wrong, but this is from first impression so far when I'm playing as her. Oh. I kind of didn't want to finish like that, but oh well. Let's try the berry surge. And she's not very much of a combo-oriented person either, it seems like. Come on. She has only two attacks as her, like at least with Ventus and I think Terra, they have at least three or four attacks as a combo. She has to. She has only um, two or maybe three. Take that. No, it, it seems like she has two, unless I have the finish ability. Freeze. Or if I use, maybe if I use a magic ability, actually, because her physical attacks do not cobble within her other physical attacks, unlike Terra or Ventus. Only her magic attacks seem to combo. Otherwise, oh shit. Ooh. Otherwise, ow. Otherwise, she's not very much of a. Thunder! Take that! Otherwise, she's not very that combo-oriented. Yeah. Oh shit, oops, I fucked up combo. I fuck off. No, that was a physical attack. Come 
Thunder! Okay, so if it's two hits and then. Freeze! Okay. Only two hits, and then I can combo that further with a command attack. Alright. Still a little bit experimental, but I got. Yeah, because her last attack lets her up with a very huge lag. Um, a very huge um, ending lag when um, she finishes the attack. Well, it's not that much of an ending lag, actually, now that I think about it. Hold on. Let's try that again. What? Assuming the finishing doesn't fuck me over. Well, that's not that bad, actually. I think it's a lot better than, um, fuck. I think that's a lot better than, um, Terror, that's for damn sure. Anyway. Oh, shit, why am I doing that? I want to see what she's like in the air, actually, now that I think about it. Is she more, um, aerial? Or, well... So far, it's not giving me much of an option for an aerial attack. Shit. Alright. Uh, that's gonna finish it off. Oh, well. One more to go. Come on. Bam, bam, and bam. Alright, awesome. Oh my god, how many of you fuckers are there? God, I'm getting very impatient with these guys. Come on. Uh, uh, there we go. Alright. Thunder! Freeze! Alright, I can save the finishing ability for later, I think. So I say question mark, question mark, question mark, even though I technically already been here before. Oh my god, this is a big area. Uh, no treasure chest on either of those area. There is a crown there, and the treasure chest here. Hello. Ow. Don't hit the treasure chest, Aqua! That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to dance. In order for the, um, allies to gain another turn. Also, I could've sworn you used the Naginata. I know, that's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh! Alright, that works. Um. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much where I got. Oh, I got slow! I could definitely use that somehow. Oh, but should, should I level up these two first before I, um. Oh, I'm gonna miss Blizzard. I should use more of my Thunder and then replace that with them slow. That's gonna be a fun ability to use. Ooh, excuse me. Or I can have two Thunders. I'd be a super magical girl. Uh, magical girls. I've been trying to relay fucking King Hearts to like Sailor Moon or shit. Uh, Alright. I gotta remember how spe Spell Weaver is activated. Alright. I think she definitely becomes a lot more aerial oriented when she has a spell weaver ability. And when this happens to her, yeah, this really is a powerful um, all around attacker. Shit, I already dead. Oh, that's fine, uh, there's another treasure chest there. Shit, come on. Alright then. Why are there so many enemies spawning? It's like they want me to grind up or something. Oh shit! Freeze! Okay, I can attack multiple people with the same projectile! Here we go again! Yeah. 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 Fuck off, Fatso! Uh, oh shit, okay. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I don't have heal. And I just died. Uh, I got way too greedy there, I'm sorry. I was like, oh, should I continue on further or not? I'm gonna have to collect all that again. How did you do D-Link? That's how you do D-Link. I got, I keep forgetting that I actually had those D-Link things. I shall remember next time. Alright, time to do all that shenanigan again! Alright. Did I really just forget to fucking, oh my god, I keep forgetting to put the timer on. Uh, well, how long have we been recording right now, actually, now that I think about it? It has been... 25 minutes, yeah, I'll definitely stop for now, so be right back and stay tuned for the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep.